Hi everyone, it's Nicole again. I'm going to do a quick um, collection video of um, Florentine handbags, my Duty and Burke Florentine handbags. So um, the first one, I have four. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do just a little mod shot that I'll, you know, show you, you know, <laughs> what the inside of the bag looks like. Okay, so my first Florentine bag, it's not the first Florentine I got, but <clears throat> it's, um, it's in a little dust cover, is my Judy and Burke Florentine Small Amelia Tote in the color black. I have to do one for one of the Florentine bags, but so here she is. Now I do have a, a review on this bag and I absolutely love it. It is the perfect, perfect, just like small bag that you can fit in your essentials. And this is like my favorite. I love Florentine bags. I, I love it how you can dress it up. You know, be you know, you can look dressy or you can, you know, dress casual. So let me give you a quick it does have it's a it is a crossbody. So I'm gonna show you I'm gonna have the I'm doing this video early. It's about eleven 08 oh, a.m. because I'm going to a cupcake festival and I am going to my boyfriend tonight. So I have a lot to prepare for that. I also have to do food shopping. So uh, my day is pretty packed. So I'm doing this video now. So I'm hoping everybody has a great Saturday. And I hope you guys um, had a good work week. Yesterday was kind of tough for me, but I got through it. <clears throat> and um, thinking about making this video really got me through it. Um, first, I'm going to show you it crossbody. Okay. I do do it. I have a review on my channel. It's stuffed tissue paper already. So it's, you know. I can just lift it up and you can kind of see a little bit. And then you can also do a crook of the arm, which I love. It makes you feel like ladylike and everything. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to show you the inside of the bag. Um, this is one of my favorite. Florentine bags. I actually love them all. I literally love them all. But this I've used the most. And you could do this short shoulder. I've used this the most. I've used it a lot. A lot. Christmas time. Short shoulder. I like to carry this short shoulder. This is what I like because then, you know, I could also have the option of doing the crook of the arm. Okay, let's see. Let me show you inside the bag. Okay, we're on four minutes already. Jeez, jeez Louise. <laughs> this might be like a couple part video, I don't know. Okay, you do have a key fob. We're not gonna talk about that, <laughs> as you know how I feel. This is the inside of the bag. This is the only bag that I have that has this kind of like soft leather lining. And you have a zipper pocket, which is nylon, which I'll, I always usually, I always put my makeup in it. Then you have just one slip pocket here, which I won't put my cell phone because I have the iPhone 8 Plus and it, yeah, it, uh, not very good. I'm just gonna just suck this real quick. I'll just kind of fix this when I'm done with the video because I'm wasting time. Okay, and the other 
quarantine bag that I have. It is one of my favorite styles. It's the small Brenna satchel in the color red, quarantine. The four feet on the bottom. I mean, I also did a review on this as well. This also could be short shoulder and crossbody. Okay. I might do this. Might be like a two-part video if I'm taking a while. I don't know, but. Uh, okay. I love this bag. I carried this one time so far and I absolutely love it. I plan on carrying this bag in, um, in December. This would be a perfect Christmas bag, I think. Perfect bag to carry on for Christmas. So this is my only red bag, and my the last bag that I just showed you is was the la, was the only black duty and Burke bag I have. Okay, so here it is, crossbody. It's it's really heavy. Um, you know, again, even with that, the small Amelia, I I kind of want to get like the thicker straps, and then I would carry crossbody. But I would typically carry this short shoulder. Short shoulder, okay. Let's see, you have a front pocket. I'm not gonna take the stuffing out. And you have like a little card slip pocket there. And on the back is another pocket. It fits my phone, other stuff. Then in this one, you also have one slip pocket if you can see and then there's a back pocket sorry I don't want to take all the stuffing out guys I'm really sorry um there's a slip pocket here and a zip pocket right here this bag is, is, is a pain in the butt to pack so that's why I'm not really packing this bag I'm not really um I'm back in this bag. So, there she is. Love this bag. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, now, the next bag, okay, is... Where am I? Okay. I do have two bags in this one. This is my Florentine Local Lock Tote. And then I'll show you what's this. And it is in the color foam. And I I want to get a um I definitely want to carry this very shortly. There's four feet on the bottom. Get some dirt or something. Anyway, it's okay. It has I'll put that one to the side for now. That'll be the last one I show you, which is the first one I got. I don't know, guys, if you can tell. Sorry, this is, like, really light, though. Like, it, for a Florentine bag, like, the bones, cut, like, always tend to be light. I don't know why. But this bag is very light. Um, I want to get a, like, a bag organizer for this one because it's so big and it opens up wide. All right, so we give you a mod shot. It can only be wear carried shoulder bag. I love this. I love this bag. I really plan on wearing this. I'm hoping next month. I um I love this bag. I carried this once Christmas Eve. Oh. Day before Christmas, Christmas Eve, I, I think so. Um, because I didn't, I didn't want to wear my red page sack. So 
So I just thought this was like really nice and fancier and I just love this coat. All right, so it does have a, my favorite part of a Judy Burke bag so is a front pocket and it does fit my iPhone 8 Plus with the OtterBox case on. Okay, and just oh, locking this up. Okay, so here is the inside of the bag. I'll take all this stuff and stuff. This is like the easiest bag to unstuff. And of course, it is a typical Judy setup. I love the red interior. I love how like the red just pops. Okay. All right, so we have the key keeper, key fob, my key leash, gunmetal hardware, of course. <laughs> so in the back pocket, you have one big slip pocket and a zipper pocket. I mean, you can literally carry so much. I had so much stuff. I was putting stuff in just so it could fit the bag. Like, the stuff that I didn't even need. Like, I put a book, a calendar. I put so much stuff in it. Look how huge this is. And then you have small, a big zipper pocket, which my key, I, I'm, I'm following the Pecan Tan Beauty, um, she puts her keys in there. Fabulous idea. It's so easy to get into. Then you have like the little slip pocket, which I put my, my, uh, what's it called? My epidural uh, medicine, my pump. So here she is. This is, I mean, if you can like feel how soft I mean, it does, and it does have pebbling in it, and so does the my black one. Like, if you could, like, see, look. This is like you can feel, like, if you could see the pebbling, front and back, and the pebbling. And then they compare it to this quarantine, the, my small Brenna, it's, like, smooth, and, like, it's literally, like, butter. And it's so, oh, I just love it. I love it, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. So, this is, I mean, even stands up on its own. This is a top bag. I'm still kind of paying this off on QVC. I think I may be one more month, but I got this bag on clearance. So, oh, well, Three out of my four quarantines came from QVC. This is the only quarantine bag that I got. Unclearance. Unclearance. I just love this style. Like I love like the logo lock. And I'm gonna, it, it, that is my favorite closure is the logo lock. I have like four or five bags of the logo lock I think. So I definitely cannot wait to carry this bag. And it's gonna get oh I cannot wait to like really carry it every day. But I'm gonna be super like super careful. So that's that. And also it's good. It could like lay flat. So definitely good with that. So my last, which is the first one I got, paper dropped. Um I got this bag on I Love Duty. This was my, well, my technically my second Florentine bag. I got this particular bag in navy, also on QVC, but I sold that because I liked this, this one. Um, so you guys got a little sneak peek. Um, I like this. I like this color better than the navy. I, to me, it kind of matches more things, and I can literally wear it all year round. And I like this bag, and I'm planning on using this. I'm going to a wedding on June 8th, and I think I'm going to carry this. I think maybe I, 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 I don't know. I'll show you the bag. It is the Flority Leather Fold Over Crossbody bag. And it also 
said you were warm two days. Two, two ways, two days, two ways. <laughs> I don't know, I'm so tired. I had one cup of coffee. It's just been a, a really, I really do apologize. It's been a really crazy work week this week. Um, a lot of drama and stuff going on. Um, but yeah, so here we go is the crossbody. It, it, it is mainly a crossbody bag and you know, I will wear, I, I've worn this once or twice. So this is crossbody. I love it. I just, it's so cute and it like really fits your body. But I think when I go to the wedding, I'm not gonna carry it crossbody. I'm going to carry it. God, it's so hot out too, oh my God. And you can lift this up, which I always do. And carry it like a clutch. Just like a small, simple clutch like this. Okay. This is so good. All right, so let me show you the inside. So it does have magnets. It, of course, it has no feet. Um, it has a little tassel, which is my favorite. I love the green suede that's in the Florentine bags. Because I just love this green. It just reminds me of just the emerald green color. One of the um, Samba bags that I never got. Okay, so inside you have a flap. And you have, let show you about it this way. You have six credit card slots and also a slip pocket. We just look, you know, for cash and cards. And then on the back, you have a back pocket, which my cell phone goes. And it does fit a, my phone's charging right now, so um, it, it fits with the OtterBox case, my A+. Plus. Then you go on the inside. My only complaint about this bag is doesn't really carry much it really just literally carries your essentials so and you can literally put like keys in there whatever and it only has a very small zip pocket see that <laughs> hold on I'm sorry little slip pocket right there so that's my um, Florentine collection. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I keep this bag and this bag. Um, my two foam bags. Love it. I love this. And I literally cannot wait to wear this. I can't stress it enough. Like, um, I'm enjoying my page stack today. Um, and the video before this will explain. <laughs> um, so, I hope everybody has a great weekend. I'm going to try to do a collection video tomorrow of what, I don't know, maybe my coat of cotton, I don't know. Um, I did the Florentine one first because I had a suggestion from one of my subscribers. And thank you for subscribing it. Um, thank you for suggesting it. I'm sorry. Thank you for subscribing. But thank you for suggesting for me to do a Florentine collection. Um, let me see if I can do like a little... But I really do appreciate that. I appreciate all the the love and, and all the comments and, you know, you guys enjoying my videos because I really love doing these videos. I love it. And now that I'm on a bag van, um, I get to enjoy the bags that I have. Instead of getting excited about buying new bags I can just get excited about the bags that I have and really love them and really get a chance to love them so right now I have 23 
Union Burke bags. And there are a few on my wish list, but I can wait. There are bags that I can wait for. It's not a big deal. Um, but I really want to enjoy carrying and loving the bags that I have. And sometimes we get so caught up in buying the new bags that the newness of it and we don't get to enjoy and appreciate the bags that we have now. And I'm really doing that. And I just, I get excited. I mean, I'm still going to watch, you know, KBC um, when Dooney and Burke is on. You know, and I get excited when, you know, people call in and just really say how much they love Dooney and Burke, how, what bag they got, and get excited. I get excited when bags sell out now. You know, I'm like, oh, that's great. You'll enjoy that if I have the bag. Um, so I really, I, I really appreciate everybody who subscribed to my channel and you guys inspire me to do more and share my collection and I appreciate that I appreciate appreciate you guys watching and loving all of my videos I'm sorry I'm rambling right now um so thank you thank you again thank you everybody who subscribed and who's watched any of my videos and commented I really do from the bottom of my heart like like appreciate it and um, if you have not subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button we're gonna have tons of fun together and if you really like this video and you liked any of my bags or any questions I know I've watched and experienced a lot of Dooney and Burke so, if you have any questions about a bag, I'll answer them. Um, if you have any more suggestions of what kind of other collections you want me to do or a review, um, even by watching it on QVC, I can you know do a little video review on it. Um, so, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope everybody has a fantastic, fabulous, great weekend. And... I love you guys. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Okay. Bye.